Hey everyone! Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about something super important, the Social Security Payment Schedule for August 2024, which includes retirement, SSI, SSDI, survivors, and spousal benefits. August isn't just about wrapping up summer, it's also a crucial month for those who rely on these payments for their financial stability. Social Security is a key part of many people's financial plans, especially for those who needed to cover their daily expenses. August brings some specific scheduling details that you need to know. Let's get into the details and make sure you're all set for the month ahead. First off, did you know that August 2024 has four Wednesdays? This might seem like a small detail, but it significantly affects when you'll receive your payments. Knowing exactly when to expect your money can help you plan your budget more effectively and avoid any surprises. The Social Security Administration, or SSA, distributes monthly benefits to retired Americans, individuals with disabilities, and surviving family members of deceased claimants. There are various categories of payments, and since there are a large number of recipients, payments are scheduled throughout the month. Let's start with a basic rundown of how Social Security payments are scheduled. If you enrolled in Social Security before May 1997, you're in luck because your payments are straightforward. They come on the third of each month. So, for August, because of the weekend, you can expect your payment on August 2nd. This consistency helps you plan right from the start of the month. For those who joined the Social Security program after May 1997, your payment dates are based on your birthday. This system helps spread out the payments throughout the month making it easier for the Social Security Administration to manage everything smoothly. Here's how it works. If your birthday falls between the 1st and the 10th of the month, your payment will be on the second Wednesday of August, which is August 14th. If your birthday is between the 11th and the 20th, you'll receive your payment on the third Wednesday, August 21st. And if your birthday falls between the 21st and the end of the month, your payment will come on the fourth Wednesday, August 28th. Speaking of which, if you receive both Social Security and Supplemental Security Income, or SSI, there's a little bit of a twist this month. For August, SSI payments will be made on August 1st as usual. Additionally, because September 1st falls on a Sunday, SSI payments for September will also be issued on August 30th. This alignment helps streamline the process, making it easier for those who depend on both sources of income. So. If you're receiving both Social Security and SSI, your payments will be on August 1st for SSI and August 2nd for Social Security, again because of the weekend. Now, regarding payments, Social Security benefits are not just for retirees. It serves a wide range of people, including those with disabilities, spouses and minor children of retirees, and even the families of deceased workers. Each of these groups receives different amounts and understanding how this all works can help you plan better for the future. For instance, the average retired worker receives about $1,918 per month, which is roughly 8% more than the overall average. This might surprise you, especially if you were expecting a one-size-fits-all approach. So, what if your check doesn't arrive as expected? The SSA suggests waiting three additional mailing days before getting concerned. If your check is still missing after this period, it's a good idea to contact their customer service. Here's a tip, try calling during midweek evenings to avoid long wait times. This way, you can get your issues resolved more quickly without spending too much time on hold. Another thing to consider is managing your finances online. The SSA offers a range of digital services that can make your life a lot easier. You can monitor your payments, make changes to your information, and even apply for benefits online. This can save you time and give you more control over your finances. And, speaking of finances, each year, your Social Security benefits are adjusted by the Cost of Living Adjustment, or COLA. This adjustment is based on the Consumer Price Index and helps ensure that inflation doesn't erode your benefits. It's a small but significant way to keep your financial security intact over time. In addition to that, don't forget about the Medicare Part B premium. This is often deducted from your Social Security check, so it's essential to consider this when budgeting. 
For those on a fixed income, knowing exactly how much will be deducted can help you plan better and avoid any surprises. Now, let's talk a bit about why understanding this schedule is so important. When you know your payment dates, you can plan your expenses more effectively. This is especially crucial if you have bills or payments that need to be made at specific times of the month. By aligning your expenses with your income, you can avoid late fees and manage your money more efficiently. And next, let's touch on a few practical tips for managing your social security payments. First, it's a good idea to set up direct deposit if you haven't already. This way, your payments go straight into your bank account, reducing the risk of lost or stolen checks. Plus, it's faster and more convenient. Another tip is to create a monthly budget. List all your income sources, including social security, and track your expenses. This can help you see where your money is going and identify areas where you might be able to save. There are plenty of free budgeting tools and apps available that can make this process easier. Another important aspect is to stay informed about any changes to social security policies. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get updates on the latest news and information. Staying informed can help you make better financial decisions and ensure you're getting the most out of your benefits. Also, take advantage of community resources. Many local organizations offer free or discounted services for seniors, such as transportation, meals, and social activities. These can help you stretch your social security payments further and improve your quality of life and keep an eye out for any potential scams. Unfortunately, there are many scams targeting social security recipients. Be cautious about sharing your personal information and always verify the identity of anyone who contacts you claiming to be from the Social Security Administration. Another useful tip is to regularly review your budget. As prices for goods and services fluctuate, it's important to adjust your budget accordingly. Look for areas where you can cut costs such as reducing utility bills or finding more affordable alternatives for groceries and medications. Also, if you're nearing retirement age or thinking about applying for Social Security benefits, it's a good idea to consult with a financial advisor. They can help you understand your options and make a plan that works best for your situation. Social Security is just one part of your overall retirement plan and having a comprehensive strategy can help you achieve your financial goals. Well. That's a lot of information, but I hope it helps you feel more prepared for August. Remember, knowing when your social security payments are scheduled can make a big difference in how you manage your finances. It's all about being proactive and staying informed. So, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, leave a comment below. I always enjoy hearing from you and helping you navigate your financial journey. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Keep your finances in check and your future secure. Take care!